Hey everybody, Coach RJ here with Jenny from the Block and of course Big Mama. You know what we do? We provide fun, exciting, entertaining workouts in a family-like environment and most importantly, we get results. We get, those results. We get results. All right, so we're in the midst of, um, you know, I think that ever since March, maybe almost a year ago, guys, think about that. It's great. Yeah. Um, We've been just busting our butts working out. Like I've stepped up my workouts by 100%. I used to only do one. If that, I would do three workouts a week and I'd probably play football twice a week. And now I'm doing five and five used to be my normal. Now eight, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to stop at eight. Now I'm doing like 10 to 12. And so I'm in a constant state of um, being being sore you know, sometimes throbby, sometimes achy, <laughs> you know, a little bit of fear that I'm going to get injured. Um, what, what is, what are active recovery days to you? So like, how are you recovering and what does an active recovery day look like for you? Well, um, all I can say about active recovery days is I like to think of it as just move differently. So like, if that means taking a walk or a bike ride, or maybe doing some strong nation by Jen, or like something, take a bath, do stretches. Um, if you got to work out, work out differently, you know, don't go super hard on the legs, maybe do a jog or something like that. And, you know, I work out seven days a week, no matter what, but I think about it. Okay. This week we had ISOs, we did heavy legs, heavy arms, heavy, this heavy, that maybe today I'll do some abs and a little jog you know, just to get a little sweat on, burn a little calories. Um, yeah, that's, that's the way I think about it. Obviously drink a lot of water. And I honestly, I really like the tissue rejuvenators that we have. Uh, I feel like that helps, although I do take those daily. So not just on a recovery day. Big mama that's active it. recovery days. Do you have I them? Even, I don't even know what that means to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so if I need to politically sound correct, I would have to say you got to listen to your body, right? So right now I'm 43 years old. I'm going to be 44 this year and I'm in the best shape of my life. And if my body says that I can do a workout today and I've been doing it for 12 days in a row, You're I'm going doing to do it. it. Yeah. I'm going to do it, right? If I get injured, knock on wood, then I'll work around my injury, right? I, you got to know your body. Only you know what you can feel. I can't feel your hamstrings for you. I can't feel your biceps. So if you're sore, sore is a different difference between being sore and being hurt, right? So you got to listen to your body. Are you hurt or are you sore? So if you're sore, the best way to get over that is to what? Keep going, right? But if you're hurt, then you got to listen to your body. You might have to slow down. You might have to not perhaps um, work on that if it's my foot, for instance, well, then I did a lot of upper body, right? I, I made my own uh, modifications around my injury as to um, what I can and can't do, right? So for me personally, I'm not getting any younger. So if I'm able to go, I'm just going to keep going. And I know some people probably are listening right now saying, well, that's stupid. Everybody should have one day of recovery. You know what? Perhaps my one day of recovery is Big Mama's House of Pain, you know? For me, that's where I don't go balls to the walls, but I, I, I just kind of I'm active. Teach at, you teach, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So that's kind of that would be my flow for me. So listen to your body. If you know that you're hurt and it hurts, then we'll you know we'll talk about that. But if you're sore, mm. ah, come on, get over it. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. Well, I think if a lot of people watch our virtual workouts, they'll notice that we're not lifting the heaviest weights possible. You know, lately I've been going heavy just because I'm doing five days strong, whereas versus most days I'm grabbing eights and I'm laughing at you guys that are lifting heavy, right? And so the coaches, we won't, every workout doesn't necessarily have to be 100%. I like the movement. Um, and uh, if there's something that hurts, like Big Mama did whole workouts in boots. I don't even think anybody noticed the boot. And you just found a way to modify. And like the key is to be in the environment and just to keep your body moving. Uh, for me, active recovery days. And like I said, I, I go, I try to do six, but I'm, you know, often doing walks. There's a lot of like movement stuff. I always want to hit my 10,000 step like minimum goal, but in act like to recover, especially right now doing these five day hard, uh, I'm mobilizing more. So every, even if I don't want to, like it's late at night and it's before bed and I'm already in bed and I'm like, dude, you got to do a couple stretches. And I'm like, no, I don't want to. And then mm -hmm. I just do it. I literally like do it. And it's, you know, it's, but then the way that I know it's working is the fact that tomorrow I can do another workout. 
right? Like I often push myself to the point where something bad's going to happen. And now I'm realizing that like for me, it, it is movement and it's, it's mobility. So I got to do the things and treat myself like an athlete. So if that means I got to drink more water, I got to take these tissue rejuvenators, drink the green supplements. Like I'm doing everything that if I was getting paid, $50 million a season like Tom Brady is doing. I'm doing that because this is how I want to live my life. So I would tell everybody active recovery days is to treat yourself like an athlete, whether that means if you have the means to go get a massage or, um, you know, a hot soak, right? Those don't cost much and uh, a hot shower, that kind of stuff. So, all right, everybody. So when it comes to active recovery, coach Jen says, try moving in a different way. Little plug on strong. And big mama says, Keep going, work harder, but listen to your body. And Coach RJ says, get mobile.